I had a Razer 1000 XP and great machine, loved it, wanted more power, so I traded that machine on, on a Razer XP Turbo, which, wow, had a lot of power, especially for going up hills. Um, had purchased a second ATV, and my son had started riding with me, and uh, I wanted my wife and daughter to ride uh, with my son and I, and the turbo had just too much power. I didn't want to purchase two more ATVs. Um, turbo was too much power for a new rider, also long for our trails, also wide for our trails. So did some research, and obviously I'm a Polaris fan, and realized that the Razor S1000 was the best of both worlds. It's five to six inches narrower than the Razor XP. It's also about 20 inches or six, probably close to 20 inches shorter than a Razor XP, but has a very flat, even power band. So for a new rider, when you're pushing the throttle down, it doesn't take off on you. And for someone who likes to ride aggressively, uh, you lay into the throttle and it's got enough torque and pull to make your ride fun. So this is how I settle on and this vehicle. I wanted my family to ride with me. One of the first items I change on my machines when I get them is to replace a seat belt with a four point safety harness. A seat belts are fine when you're working around the yard, but when you're trail riding, I think you're much more protected having a four point or for more aggressive riders, a five point safety harness. I like to add mirrors. I like to check on the people I'm riding with that are behind me and make sure they're okay. Also, I want to make sure anyone that wants to pass me, I check my mirrors so I can see them and I'll pull over to the side and let them pass. When you get your ATV or side-by-side -side stuck in the mud or on a big log, uh, people power is not going to move that machine. You need something mechanical with a lot of torque and a lot of pulling power, and to me that's a winch. It's a must-have. It's also nice to be able to help a friend, a fellow rider, when they get stuck. I've had rock sliders on all my side-by-sides, even my Rangers, and I can tell you on the last two Razors, uh, the 1000 and the Turbo, uh, I transferred the rock sliders from one machine to the other, and that was a one protective device on the machine that took the most abuse. Uh, I'm not an aggressive rider. I don't believe I am. And I had bounced my machine off uh, trees and stumps several times. And the rock, the rock slider saved the machine uh, and really did a great job in protecting it. So for me, it's an automatic this rock slider is made by Racer Tech, and so were my previous set. And they're heavy, but they do the job. They protect your machine and they protect you. I feel that bumpers are an added protection for your machine. I always opt to put a front bumper on for when I'm hunting and going through the brush. I think I'd rather have the bumper take the abuse from the brush and twigs and sticks than the finished parts of the machine. Um, so I, I typically put a bumper on the front and back of the machine, more so to protect the plastic and paint on the machine. I almost finished this video without talking about doors. Uh, this machine came with a half door, which is nice. It's better than a net. doesn't do nearly enough to protect you from the mud, and we know I don't like mud. So I installed a, a door skin over the frame for the half door which is made by Polaris and I really like it. So I'd highly recommend if you use your machine a lot replace the nets and half door and do something to put on a full door. I don't like mud. Polaris finally came out with a factory made fender flare that uh, looks awesome on the machine fits the machine very well and it helps keep mud off the side of my machine and out of the cockpit and off me. Kudos to Polaris, their uh, accessory mud flare is outstanding. A roof protects me from mud. 
That's why I like it. Also, when it's raining, it gives you a little protection, but really it's to keep the mud out of the cockpit. I bring repair tools on my machine. I bring a uh, chainsaw, a razor saw to cut trees that fall across the trail. Food, water, change of clothes, sometimes even something to sit on. So I always add storage boxes to my machine. Ryfab is an excellent manufacturer. Uh, their boxes are made in the USA out of aluminum, diamond plate aluminum. They're very light, easy to take on and off a machine. This one has uh, a rack on the lid to strap things down like a chair. Uh, highly recommend this product and it comes on and off the machine very easily with four plastic knobs that have nuts on them. Great product. A couple of things that come stocked on this machine that I like. It comes with a one inch receiver so you can put a ball on a one inch insert and uh, pull your trailer around when you need to move it around the yard. Also it has uh, Walker Evans shocks with I believe over 13 inches of travel. They're two inch shocks which I think are outstanding. And the Dirt Commander tires, I've heard many say they're the best tire to come on a stock side-by-side. -side. And uh, in this class, there's no doubt about it. If you're riding in the Northeast, uh, if you're riding in dirt and mud uh, and not riding on the dunes, awesome tire. We need to express our gratitude more and I want to thank all the viewers and subscribers who have been watching my videos. Uh, this is all new to me, old man trying to learn new tricks and I hope you're enjoying the videos, I hope you're learning, I hope it's creating an interest for you to get outdoors and especially to participate in motorsports. Thank you.